can do is this apothecary shop Is there anything in particular that I may help you with? Well, we have a fine selection of all kinds of ankins, ointments, plasters, pills if you like them Also we have a wide variety of waters, oils, anything that your health may require or your families or your friends we always have a set of ointments and onions ready they are the most purchased, the most loved mixtures that we do and I have a list I can read it to you for you to see if there is something that interests you or may help you with anything Alright, so we have these ready mixtures Water for cloudy eyes Your eyes don't seem cloudy to me Bright eyes mm, Good eyes Powder to make memory good The thing is with this powder is that even if you have any issues with your memory you wouldn't probably remember it so people buy this mostly for somebody else then there is a factory against every distress of the stomach powders for cooling the kidneys cool kidneys is what you need mm -hmm. then there is argument against um, and there is argument against vomiting and discharge of the stomach and there is ointment to remove ringworm remedy for the heated liver to diminish uh, pain from the spleen and to put on sores and to make flesh grow very effective for your flesh to grow or any flesh in particular super effective I would personally recommend it this is our number one for sores and wounds and all kinds of after attack, battle, fight, treatment. So, yeah. Surely, then we have liquor to join nose that are shrunken and confection to lift up your heart. And this also helps to dispel melancholy. This one is really good one. I personally use it myself from time to time. It lifts up your heart perfectly. Cloud 9 or 10, doesn't matter, it's perfect. You know, mm, if nothing rings a bell, what do you think if we go through a book of remedies that we have here? This is our family book of remedies, it mm, has been passing down from generation to generation for ages rather worn and torn but it doesn't matter that its content is not as good as it used to be many many centuries ago of course some of the recipes are a little bit outdated but they still work sometimes you can just add a few things there and a few things here and it will work even better and if you see, this book is also a little bit burnt. It was torn a couple of times, can you imagine this? And this is because this book is a really priceless collection of recipes that anybody would love to have. And you see, it's a bit wrinkled and oil stained in here and splashes of the ink. Um, here it's also <laughs> a problem that I don't know what to do with. I seriously don't know what happened here. I hope it's red blood. Red, red blood. Maybe it's some other small animal's blood. Maybe not. I prefer not to ask. Because nobody's gonna give me the answer, so the best strategy here is just not to know at all. Looks wild. 
let us see so i will show it to you as well because it's sometimes quite amusing to look through very interesting to um, read and i might read a few of the remedies to you uh our first remedies mm, for example yeah these are the health books so usually you take one page per recipe sometimes it depends but mostly it's like that um, fresh is dear to my heart Because all my business tags on it. Obviously. Very easy to understand. Okay, so here we have. So here we have, for example, a remedy to kill worms inside the body of children without giving anything by mouth. Because you know these brats, they won't take any pill. No. No. Just no. And this one. Now why? Because you just make a small ointment, you just make an ointment and put it on the top of the stomach and on the heart, then let them stay until they, they detach themselves and you will see a wonderful result. This is how it works. And then there is a remedy for horses, cattle asses and other animals that have swollen tumors from the saddle and these saddles are pain for these poor animals what to do? bathe the tumor with good brandy good brandy is, a, is what I recommend all people recommend and you probably recommend it <laughs> and then light it with a candle it will be cured as simple as that also there is a uh, idea to protect horses and other animals. Take a newborn dog before it drinks milk. It's my favorite. Because where else do you take a newborn dog and dry it in the oven? You probably will have to make sure that the oven is big enough. Or a newborn dog is not that big. So, who cares? And medicate it with the powder. This remedy has been tested and it has. Then, there are a few remedies to make hair on the head, beard, or hair on the skin grow fast when it has fallen through sickness. And it happens, it happens a lot. What do we need? Take raw honey and. Um, what is it? Oh, this is another of my favorite, I tell you. Raw honey and urine of a young child of 5 to 8 years old. If you don't have a child of 5 to 8 years old, you will probably have to go anywhere and ask your neighbors, for example. 5 to 8, mm, yes. This is mm, kind of the best age for these remedies. Mm, I would basically say that this is the page overall for some potions as well. But we're not talking about this. So let's see. Age the same amount and put the rings and pieces that are roasted. Um, make fine powder of it and incorporate it with ordinary oil and mix everything well together. Rub it in the bowl place. The head and beard and skin and by continuing it for a few days the hair will grow shiny and beautiful as before. This mixture should be made fresh a little at a time least two three days and it will work for you very well it's true also there is a good recipe to kill lice crab lice fleas and mites um, you also have to drink it any mice might any lice problems hopefully not you don't look like a um, you don't look like somebody who have lights or mates or... Okay. Then, this is definitely my favorite page. Two pages. Why? Because it's 
has two recipes concerning animal and I've been rereading them for quite a while and they still don't make much sense to me but I promise I swear this is not made up this is true of course it's written by our ancestors so probably this is a bit outdated but they used it so let's see to put some green spots on a white horse the question is why would you need green spots on a white horse mm, nothing strikes my mind you i thought so put foot six uh, oh, yeah green capers green capers is how they do it i don't do it anymore because nobody needs green spots on white horses but this is how it is green green capers green capers water distillate and i like it it will last for a while and will be beautiful to see nice conception of beauty green pointed horse but yeah and then there is another one <coughs> to make a horse become lame in a quarter of an hour for a joke joke and make him recover quickly without any impediment take two to three horse hairs from the tail of the horse and bind the front leg above the knee as tightly as you can let it stay a quarter of an hour the horse will go lame so that it appears it is very sick when you want to cure it remove the horse hairs or cut them and give two wraps to the leg that it will be cured without any impediment and the horse will go where you wish just a, per just a perfect one in case you don't know what to do with your life i guess but this one is good for a break in a nose caused by the scent of humans very effective as a matter of fact Mm, yes, and then there is a lecture for tearing an inverted dyes and for depleted stomach and to preserve memory. And I will always like how our uh, medications are multi-purpose. So see, memory, stomach, and eyes, and it works together. Good in case you have any problems with any of these. And it is quite a good one. I can read it to you if you are curious. Take the seed of sapphire, sea fennel, of parsley, of fennel, and of pestered lard, one ounce each. Make a fine powder. Then take flowers of rosemary, of birch, and of buckwheat, two ounces each. Cut them very finely. Then take 20 pounds of creamed honey and put it in a pot. Put everything in it in it to boil slowly on a charcoal fire like it's skinned and let it reduce to one third then remove it and put it in a bottle and put it into carrots or musk that's it easy right then there is for para paralysis of the tongue head and other members one hand for each of powder and musk mm, it's quite a bit quite a complicated one that serious matter uh, then which i like and i recommend myself most perfect remedy for one who may be dead oh no this is not the one no 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 this one is here it goes the most alluring perfume to water very aristocratic and perfect this is what i recommend yeah Take one handful each of lavender flowers, roses and musk roses. Put all these flowers in a glass brown jar. Put these powders um, put these powders on them. An ounce each of cranes of paradise, nutmeg, fine cinnamon and powdered cloves. One dram of camphor. Three drams of scraped or ground aloe wood. Four grams of ambergris. One ounce of powdered sedge. Mix well and put on the cover and distill it on the bain marie on a slow fire. You will have a water never recalled in fragrance that greatly invigorates the brain and aids in retaining memory that is the water for princes, dukes and kings. 
and it's it's just so good, so aristocratic. Oh, this is what I do for myself. Can you smell it? Mm. Let's go on. Fold the problems of baldness on the head again to make your hair and beard grow again. I think these uh, these issues are very common in our town and people struggle, people struggle, but I have remedies, so in case any of your friends who struggle do have these problems, in case they're interested, just let them go, yes. Then there is a tested charm against worms, I like it, I'll show it to you. Make a little mint and attach it to the neck of a child, let it stay until it holds up by itself. When it is attached to the neck, say three prayers and bind it three times to the patient. The charm will work effectively. If you don't want to do uh, any prayers, there is another medicine. Ordinary oil, cloves of garlic, ground between two stones. Uh, these are three turnips and a handful of goat's rue. Uh, two to three nails that are rusty. Rusty nails are perfect. Remember my words. Rusty nails are perfect nails for any medicines that you might need. Put them into ounces of white wine. White wine is also, as I've said, brandy or wine. They all work good as a base or just on their own. Sometimes if you don't have any leaves of peach or go through or something, you just take a brandy. Everything goes, but if you're here, we'll, we'll just see oil and until the wine is dissipated, save it in the bottle where you need when you wish to try to rub it. Rub the wrists and the stomach and it will cure. And there is also a chapter that I myself love so much. It's called Excellent Rules for Preserving Health for a Long Time. And this is a free advice, but I really want to read it to you because this is something that everybody needs to know. And um, I don't have to take any money for that. So let's see. Because the state of human life is affliction and change, Art and care are necessary through which nature and the body will be able to preserve health. Therefore, my friend, if you greatly desire to live in this world for a long time, freeing yourself from many indispositions and dangers to your mortal body, give attention with diligence to this short list of rules. When you get out of bed in the morning, stretch over your limbs, because the natural warmth of the state from which they take much comfort is the warmth. Clean. With a comb, clean your head because rubbish and dirt that is between the scalp and the brain is removed and this cleaning greatly aids the head. Wash your hands and face with fresh water because that will give you a good color to aid nature and blow your nose well. Clear your chest by spitting. Remember this? Because the chest and the brain become more cleansed and purified, and clean your teeth and gums well with sage and orange rind, which gives the breath a good odor and the teeth and gums are better preserved. Perfumes. Take some time to make odorous perfumes for the brain. When it is warm, use cool things such as roses and sandalwood. During the cold, use warm things such as um, cinnamon, cloves and such orders benefit greatly the brain. Garments. This is my favorite part. Dress in with respectable and good-looking clothes of light wool improves the heart. Eat in sweet fennel or clothes same time in the morning results in good breath that comforts the stomach and greatly increases the desire to eat. So if you have enough money to buy a lot of delicious food, this is what you need. And then there is another advice. Do moderate exercise in the morning to the first sweat. 
Because such exercise strengthens the body and opens the natural heat where the excess of bad humors is diminished. Then there is a passage about meat. The foods that better preserve the nature of man in great health are meat of castrated goat, veal and lamb, birds like the meat of the grey partridge, pheasants, quail, Greek partridges, hens and capons. Yes, these particular ones. The birds of the swamp are bad and never digest. So, do you hunt on the swamps, for example? You'd better stop because it's, yeah, not really beneficial for your health. Then about eggs. Fresh hen's eggs given to drink assist the brain considerably and help produce good blood. The herbs are also of importance. The green stems of herbs, not cooked too much, are good and fine in their broth and better to relieve the abdomen. To provoke the urine in an ordinary way, beets, porridge, balsam, mint and spinach are good and suitable at meals. Bread should be well fermented and well cooked, not eaten warm, which makes the stomach and the body worse. Wine. Wine should be pure and small in amount. Eat without too much speed so the food can be well digested. Drink with moderation because too much wine and food kill many. That's true. Your food and wine should be very simple and of a single kind in a course. Otherwise, in using very diverse foods, illness is produced. After the meal, wash your hands and your mouth and teeth so that bits of food do not stay in the teeth and damage them. As often happens. If one walks enough so that the food is arranged at the bottom of the stomach, it is digested better. When you sleep, do so with the head covered and well elevated. The first sleep should be on the right, right side. Get up at dawn, because the mind is aroused and sharpened and the body is strength, strengthened, health is maintained. Do you get up early? Mm, you should be doing this. Dawn. Dawn is the best time, see? Um, in the spring, take a perch. This is what preserves your health and drives away every sickness that may come. Be careful with garlic, onions and similar sour plants that are harmful to the stomach and to the brain. In other things, do not indulge in coitus too much, especially after meals. Hmm. Food for thought? Yeah. From that develops corruption of the blood and weakness of the disposition. Fruit. Abstain from raw fruit that causes most serious sickness. Do not be too melancholic in which, which is the most harmful and only makes you fall into craving disposition and madness. Likewise, watch out for things harmful to the mind and body. By avoiding these and being careful, you will live a long time and this is what you need. Be well. See, don't be too melancholic. This is so right. And I agree. This is. And yeah, this book is really dear to my heart. And I always try to reread it as often as I can I always find I always find something of use for me from time to time it's really good to just dip in and get some nice little ideas nothing rings a bell mm. so may I ask uh, what is it exactly that bothers you maybe not exactly but at least vaguely uh, maybe not exactly, but at least vaguely. Oh, you have a recipe. Oh, you can give it to me and I can prepare it. Right. Let me see. It seems a little bit damaged by some someone's bad temper. But let me see. Water of bramble, water of eyebright, green tonic, and fruits, berries, 
Burdock Sage Nightshade, Sapphire Busted Louch, and Dragon's Blood. Mm. This recipe reminds me of uh, Water for the Eternal Life for the Endless Bliss. This is how it's called. No? It looks as if Amelia, I can swear. This one. Um. So you say it's just a happiness water. Um. I don't like dragon blood in here. Why? Because it's very dangerous in the process of preparing. And also some side effects may occur and it doesn't um, depend on me if they occur or not. So the whole um, syrup, let's call it this way, is a bit risky. But if you say it's just a happiness water, I won't be asking more questions. But some more payment may be required. Can I see this dragon? You agree? Surely. Okay, let's do it then. Mm, we will probably need... We will need... What is it that we need? Water of Bramble. So here is some Bramble that I have. It's very clear, blue, and it also tastes good, but we're not going to eat it now, surely. This is some purified honey, and in, let's open it, because we will need it anyway. See how golden it is. Very beautiful. Okay, we we'll need this. We'll take a little glass like this. You won't need more. So first of all, we'll put some honey inside. This will work as a base, at least according to the recipe. Let's put it aside. Now, this is water of bramble. also very very naughty I would say because see if I stir it a little it will change color so let me just stir it carefully you can't work with the <coughs> mixture if it's not see it has this golden shine to it and we will need just something like this inside now to 
the dragon blood This is the finest dragon blood that you may get in these places Yes, you see, it's very clear Very stable in its color Very stable in its color, doesn't change it at all And it's very nice to look at if you don't know how dangerous it is But it's not a problem now, we will also need the mustard loud in the sound. Okay. All right. Let's see. This also requires some mixing and stirring. See how golden it is. Just a bit. This pretty colored mixture. Oh, doesn't shouldn't go. See how bright it is. Very fresh. Just prepared it yesterday, and I like to keep my mixtures fresh because obviously it makes them work so much quicker and easier and let's see so this is our mixture you see it's green at the bottom then this brown at the top but we'll mix it anyways and we also need We will also need this little glass. It's a very beautiful color. I would say it's red, but it has some orange shine to it. I'll put it inside. Right. Result and let's mix it. See? It's not very pretty, but this is not what we are looking for, right? And according to the recipe, this might be it, but it will ne we'll need some more herbs. I'll put herbs in this pack See? Everything right before your eye Right? This root is a very powerful one, but it's also what you need. I would say to be careful with it, mm, don't warm it up. This is the hose that you will need in addition to this mixture. Before going to bed today, put this in a glass of brandy or wine, whatever is your preference. As you see, there is no hurt in it, in moderation of course. Grind them and mix them all together in a glass of wine or brandy. And take them before going to bed. 
and be careful um, again don't um, warm them up and you also have to pour every drop of this inside of your glass just be careful because the dosage is very exact and if you lose even a drop it will not work so be careful about that and of course don't forget forget to grind them and mix here we go you're always free to come back i'm open almost all the time if it's not a grand fest or something but you'll probably be interested in it, in it too so um, I hope that your happiness potion will work. N not having fun at all. Yeah, dragon blood is very dangerous, so be careful about that. Be careful about side effects. And I was so sure it's about the eternal life, so I'm If you say this is about happiness, I'm not. I'm not gonna say a word. Eternal life. This really resembled the eternal life. Okay. So if you say it's not, it, it's. You know, I'm worried because these remedies are somehow dangerous. Not only to those who drink them but also for, the, for those who make them and for those who surround them so basically your friends and relatives, your neighbors mm, they will be affected but if you tell me that this is not alright, alright, okay mm, then I guess that's it I hope you will like the effect and you're free to come back, as I said, and I was happy to have you here. Goodbye. This is the eternal life recipe. It was. Hmm.